What's going on guys, Bengal again here coming back at you with another episode. It's been a little while since we hopped on the Ben Bones Road to Glory. Been doing some other things on the channel lately, like uh, some random quizzes and things like that. I've been having a lot of fun. And uh, there will be some more uniform videos coming in the near future as well. More rebuilds, I know everyone loves the Madden rebuilds from me. I appreciate it, but of course, gotta get some different things going from time to time. Before Madden 21 comes out, we have a lot of time, so we can't burn all the rebuild possibilities. Even though I know that's why a lot of you guys are subscribed to the channel. But we're back on the NCAA Road to Glory today. I've changed my settings, by the way, as well. And also, the guy who edits these videos was rendering in a lesser quality than where it should have been. So hopefully today he gets the bitrate up, so the quality should be amazing for you guys. I have my system settings changed. It looks a little bit washed out on my monitor, but you guys probably don't care about that. It looks as good as it looks, or as good as it could look on the uh, actual recording version of it and the saturation's up a little bit higher so that maybe is even gonna look more ap appealing to you guys but yep of course ben bones got the arkansas razorbacks today they are four and three we have practice what do we look at in the skill upgrades here read and react don't particularly care about tom don't jinx us we have nothing there wash them off that's our goal for today we should be able to do that easily with practice Agility plus one, juke move plus two, spin move plus two. So the thresholds are raising even higher. Juke move it will be maxed out. Spin move is going to be 90. Agility 85 is going to be very, very nice. So let's go ahead and hop into practice, have a good week of practice, and then take on the Razorbacks. As I've previously talked about, I'm unsure whether or not we will actually do two episodes of video or one i think it just might be something that alternates depending on the first game of the episode and how long it goes and things like that that'll vary we'll see if we have two episodes or two games in one episode or just one game in an episode so stay tuned watch the video you'll see what happens appreciate you guys but uh let's get like 1500 to 2000 xp in practice that would be fantastic might be a little bit rusty but we'll see what i can do all right really bad week of practice 695 total xp I don't know if that was me or just like being rusty or just bad plays or whatever. We've had some really bad weeks of practice before. Sometimes the, the lanes just aren't there. The play calling is not great. However, we got just enough points to get wash them off, which I'll totally take. 90 spin move, 99 juke, 85 agility. I will take it. Turn power do I want? Not really. We could get our agility all the way up. But uh, I'll probably just pass and hop into the game versus the Razorbacks. We are ranked at number four in the nation. Although, as you can see, Arkansas is no uh, matchup to sleep on. Similar overall, 93-93, right? And then, what, minus two offense, same defense? They're going to be pretty good. That's not the way I wanted to spin. All right, let's see if we can make something out of this. Not really. That's a loss of six. <laughs> I didn't mean to spin that way. Not ideal. Not a good start to the game whatsoever. Down seven. We're the home team, but of course, Jalen Harris is our quarterback, so... You throw it? Okay. He's going down the seam. That's actually going to be completed. Sal Canella catching that one up the seam. Gotta love that. Huge catch. Huge conversion there on third down and long as the split screen is going to be the play call we're going to go towards the wide side of the field looks like there is not a ton of uh arkansas defenders covering ben bones here there we go nice and a flat we'll pick up the first down we don't really need to get you know a touchdown every single play as long as we're just controlling the clock picking up yardage there are not a ton of razorbacks that have been keen in on ben bones so far as we're going to take that up the middle block maybe that's going to be close to a first down it's going to be first and goal from the one classic halfback dive and you guys know the rules halfback dive from inside the five is an automatic touchdown not every uh every run play is because some of the runs inside the five are just bad but halfback dive automatic touchdown inside the five every time out of the backfield catching it plow through him get bone 12 yard gain of course he did make the tackle but i mean he got bowled over this is such a weird motion well, let's see how successful it is a lot of uh, confusion there <laughs> didn't really do anything trying to take that up the middle i don't know if i missed a hole i guess i could have uh, could have should have would have cut that back to the left side 
but I'm not sure if he would have been able to make that cut quickly enough. And Arkansas has scored again. They can play spoiler. Arkansas winning here effectively ends our season. So don't really want that. Checking down. Give me a block or two. Ben Bone stiff arming, gets the first 11 yard gain. I don't know how he fell down inbounds. I don't know what that animation was after the play, but that's not where Ben Bones ended up at all. There we go. Out of the flat. Get out of bounds. Stopping the clock. We still have our timeouts too, but we'll save those. Oh, slip screen. This is the perfect opportunity. Oh, I hope that inside linebacker is coming on a blitz. This would be the perfect time. He's not. He's dropping back. Jalen Harris, get the ball off. Decent blocks. Oh, he didn't block. I know I said decent, but I thought it was going to be. I tried to, like, get inside and, and kind of stall and buy some time. Jeez, I mean, you just expect it to work out differently sometimes, and it does. We have not been playing all that well so far. Ben Bones needs to step things up here in the second half. Didn't mean to take that to the left at all, but okay, cool. Screen on third and 10. He's been kind of wishy-washy all day. Bones just has to make somebody miss. That's exactly what he's going to do. Yards after contact is uh, the best possible way to determine how good a running back is. Because that's totally uh, independent from the offensive line. Ben Bones just has to make people miss. Accelerate into the open, uh, open field. And really just make it happen. Kind of weird option play. Terrible. We lost a yard. And Ben Bones is off the field. Arkansas scored a touchdown. We are down by two touchdowns. 24 to 10. We're almost to the fourth quarter. This Auburn offense and defense has to figure things out. And I, we can't get anything going with Ben Bones. In NCAA 14, my biggest complaint is not being able to do moves when you press a move button. So, like, when you're moving or changing direction, you can't spin, you can't juke. You can't do anything. You can't even truck as Ben Bones breaks a tackle there. Stays on his feet. Falls forward. 19-yard gain. One of his best carries, if not his best carry of the day. Only averaging 3.3 .3 per carry. Just hasn't been a ton of space so far. Another screen here. This one looks like it was covered really well. Honestly, pretty good gain, all things considered. Third and seven. And they take Ben Bones off the field. Somehow convert. Now, second and one. We need to do something here. I don't like like the color of this player being green. I know it's like still technically an option, but it's like it's not. As we're gonna fall forward and pick up eight. Would really like to score before the third quarter comes to an end. I think hurry up's gonna come in handy here. And we're just gonna continue to pound this right up the middle. As long as Ben Bones or me <laughs> reads the hole correctly, we should be we should be in decent shape, although there just really didn't seem to be anything there at all. And Ben Bones is holding his forearm. No. Say it ain't so. Ben Bones was injured. Taken out. We're down 31-13. Under three minutes to play. The Auburn season is coming to a screeching halt here in Auburn, Alabama. Up the middle. Going back to Ben Bones. I mean, we need... We need scores now. And it might be too little too late. Why would the clock not stop in the fourth quarter in this situation? Don't know why. Bones up the middle. Just force it. Force it. Ben Bones has got it. I promise you. Just throw the ball. Trust the process. That's kind of a sick nickname for a player. I know that's more of like a managerial type thing. And like a team building type thing. Trust the process. But the process would be a sick, sick nickname for a player. He's going to throw outside. That's a touchdown. Matthew Hill. 18 yards as we are clawing our way back into this game absolutely not gonna do slants we're gonna do hb dive and you guys know the rules inside the five hb dive it jives it's automatic 31 21 down by 10 scored just under two minutes to play auburn defense needs to come up strong and they didn't at all they suck how do you allow 31 points to arkansas absolutely ridiculous 31 21 
it just wasn't there today nothing worked the offense didn't come to play the defense did not come to play it, it, just, it just wasn't it Ben Bones averaged three yards per carry did a little bit better as a receiver but I mean that was absolutely brutal our season is over so I guess our season isn't technically over if we win out we can make the SEC championship like we could still do that we need to beat Georgia, South Carolina, and Alabama. And even though Alabama's unranked, they're still obviously unbelievable. I can't believe we lost to Arkansas. That obviously sucks, but New Mexico State should be a gimme. And then, I mean, weeks 12, 13, 14, 15, and then championship. I mean, that is uh, far from easy. Well, there's a buy in there, so that one's probably going to be easy, but we'll see if we even have anything to play for at that point. We're number four. We're probably going to drop to at least eight. It's not going to be good. What do we drop to? New Mexico State is 0 and 9. We dropped to 11. Yeah, I, I thought it was going to be like in that range, at least eight. And uh, there's nothing we can really even buy here. Bridge climbing, maybe Heisman time. I guess we might as well get all these. Even there's not really a point, Mister Mister, for higher spin move. Why not? Scat back. Why not? And did I not do Heisman time? I feel like I already did. Uh, it is what it is. We need to dominate New Mexico State here. Dominate. That was a gigantic loss. <laughs> Brutal. But we're not out of it yet. We've called the slip screen three times and Jalen Harris has not been able to throw it once. I know this is just practice, but like, get rid of the ball. It's not that difficult as we're going to get tackled for a huge loss here. <laughs> That's how you do it. Huge juke. Ben Bowens touchdown. We need to see more of that. It just was not there last week in any capacity. Oh, there it is. Back to back. Touchdowns. Bones. Did we get it? I think so. Decent week of practice. 1300 XP. Nothing crazy. Just feels like practice has been fairly difficult for the most part lately. Not really sure why that might be. Just Heisman difficulty is Heisman difficulty. Kind of is what it is. However, New Mexico State sucks. So if we don't come out and dominate them today, I'm going to be super upset. We're going to check out the Heisman watch and see if Ben Bones dropped it all he's still holding number one but I mean Maurice Smitherman <laughs> is coming for Ben Bones hard wait hold on rain coming down here in Auburn Alabama the last time the fans were here they witnessed a loss the first of the season for the then number four Auburn Tigers now dropping of course outside the top 10 now is our chance to embarrass a team so heavily and re-solidify our ranking and our Heisman status third and in inches they want to do a speed option if you say so all right don't know how I feel about that we'll see nope not good Jalen Harris doesn't get rid of it fourth and one we're going for it we're not settling for a field goal against New Mexico State. The fact that they're stopping us at all is ridiculous. We've hardly had any run plays, and the only one that we've kind of had so far was not successful. But if Ben Bones can't make some of these Aggies miss in space, I mean, are you kidding me? And more blocking for Ben Bones. I mean, how do you not utilize the best player in the country? This offense is embarrassing time and time again. What are we doing? Run the ball. Slip screen, I guess that works. And of course, we don't score at all. We got the football back, though, on the other side of the field. It is 0-0. Zero, zero. Can we score, please? Can we do anything? Block. Block. You suck. I mean, that was, that was an okay run, I guess. 12 yards. I'm just expecting us to be able to dominate 
New Mexico State because, you know, they're terrible and we are a prestigious SEC school. And it's just not happening like that. I think it's the play calling, man. The play calling is so bad. I mean, look at look at the blocking from Ben Bones. You don't really see that anywhere else. 12-yard catch for Sal Canella. But we just got to have to run the ball. Ooh, power row here. There we go. I mean, what are the angles that New Mexico State's taking? I mean, that's terrible. I don't know how we don't get a touchdown there. I mean, Ben Bones is the absolute king of being caught from behind as someone else is going to vulture the touchdown. But huge gain. I'll take it. There we go. Finally, we get blocking. Finally. I mean, we, we, there was just no area, no space to make a juke move. So the only real option, you know, turned into the stiff arm. But obviously, as you could see, there wasn't, there just wasn't enough space. It was decent, but just not, not good enough there. Harris is going to just run into a sack because what else would you do in that spot? It would say, and it's 7-7. Seven, seven. Auburn absolutely sucks. They have eight total yards, yet they have a touchdown. It's 7-7. Seven, seven. This team is terrible. And it is wide open, I promise you. Take it outside. Use the speed. No one should be as fast as Ben Bones. Who are you? No, 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 no. He caught him again. Unreal. A great gain by Ben Bones. Don't get me wrong here. But he is caught at the one again. This time he's going to stay in the game to actually, you know, finish the drive and score his own touchdown. Fullback in motion. Block across. We'll just take that in easily for a one yard score. Ben Bones having a decent game, all things considered. It's just like two huge chunk plays which we'll take nine rushes for 131 here in a touchdown so not a bad line for ben bones at all and a couple of really really bad plays back to back i mean can we find that down the middle of the field it's completed that's gonna be a touchdown matthew hill goes 53 yards and we're gonna take a 21 to 7 lead here a minute to play here in the first half they still want ben bones to block no Get it to Bones. Over the middle. There we go. Not a great stiff arm, but, I, you know, took what was there. 57 seconds. Ben Bones to the flat. Throw quickly and watch the magic happen. Oh, I tried to get a hurdle off. 23-yard gain for the Bone Meister, though. Bones up the middle. Can you throw that? Nope. Going to the flat. Brian Holmes. Not a player I'm familiar with on this team. Picks up one. Although this halfback angle route coming out of the backfield could be wide open. The middle, it should be one-on-one -on -one with a linebacker. And it actually be one-on-one -on -one with a safety. Linebacker blitz. Nate Craig Myers gets eight and out of bounds. Third and inches. How about a run play? How is that not an option? I mean, third and inches. How is this not halfback dive? Bones. Can't get the uh, touchdown there, but we pick up two. Get the first down. Get the catch. Clear rushing opportunity should be coming. I don't want to run a read option. We'll take it, though. Jalen Harris can score if he wants. Might even be the best option. We'll see what happens here. I hate option plays inside this area from the CPU. We'll see what happens. And there's actually going to be a handoff. Ben Bones takes it back up and scores. Three-yard touchdown. And we will take a 28-7 to lead, hopefully. And that's exactly what happens as we enter the second half. He's at least left outside linebacker in there, 3-4. Dude was standing up on the defensive line as Ben Bone's going to take that up the middle for 13. I mean, he was so, so fast. 13 rushes for 185 and two touchdowns right now for the Bone Meister as the Aggies get boned. Whether it's Texas A&M or New Mexico State, it doesn't matter. If they're an Aggie, they're getting boned. Making a miss in space, showcasing the speed, and the touchdown. 18 yards to the house for Ben Bones, finally capping off a, you know, a longer run with a touchdown. <laughs> Usually he's caught on the one. I mean, look at that swerve. <laughs> it's just so easy to pick up 27. But Ben Bones just doesn't seem to have the breakaway speed. I know what you're thinking. Uh, it, it doesn't even 99 speed, 99 acceleration. Yeah, you'd be correct. 
just doesn't seem to show. Might be some more here on third and four running inverted veer. I doubt that Ben Bones is getting the ball here, but there's a possibility. Seems like usually just Jalen Harris keeps this, but if the defensive end has no recognition or awareness to recognize the run, nah, he's going to. Run up the middle for Jalen Harris, he gets six. Ben Bones off the field, and it is 42 to seven. Seems like that's the ball game with five minutes to play here in the fourth. I would say a uh, very, very, very low chance that New Mexico State actually gets back in this game. Seems like we actually started to play decently. Another 10-yard gain for Bones. It seemed like after the first quarter, we actually said, oh, hey, we're a dominant SEC team. Why is this even a game? And we took off. We just need to play like this against other SEC teams. And I think that is where the problem arises because I'm not sure we're that type of team. I don't know if we are a number four overall team the way that we were actually ranked. When we play Georgia and we play Alabama, I mean, it's going to show as Bones drops that one. Okay. Nice little truck stick there for the Bone Meister. 14. As we have first and goal inside the 10, clearly, but I think on the 8, and Ben Bones is off the field. Auburn scores, and Bones might not step back onto the field for the remainder of the game, and he does not. But a very solid game for him, nonetheless. Looks like Jalen Harris might have been the player of the game. And he was. However, Ben Bones, 18 carries for 261, three touchdowns, also added seven catches for 76 yards to his resume. Not amazing. Not amazing. And I know that's, that's a great line. Not amazing for Ben Bones, but a decent game nonetheless. So that's going to be the episode. We're up to 6,000 total XP. And, um, I mean, I guess we're going to buy a superpower probably next episode. Not really a ton of options here. Maybe we'll finally get read and react to up awareness and reaction time. But that is going to do it for this episode. We're 8 and 1. We didn't, you know, uh, move ahead in the rankings after beating 0 and 9 New Mexico State. So. That is what it is. UGA dropped their last one. They are now 6-3. and three. Let's see uh, who else. South Carolina moved up to 16. Bama's still unranked. So 12, 13, 14. Our next three games are super tough. But that is going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.